Question 35. Ester can be hydrolyzed with aqueous alkaline or aqueous acid to form two products. So the table compared two methods, which row is correct? Uh, before we proceed to this uh, answer, so uh, at least you need to know uh, how the hydrolysis uh, form the two products. So it start with the the ester. So let's say now we have the this ester with two alkyl group. Let's say it's uh, alkyl group one, alkyl group two. After it's hydrolyzed, so the ester bond will break. So this CO will form COOH, means this part will form COOH and this will form alcohol. This oxygen will get uh, 1H, so this one will get OH, so it will form uh, these two products, the carboxylic acid and the uh, alcohol if if we use the alkalines uh, for the hydrolysis means uh, the hydrolysis uh, using the alkaline uh, condition so the carboxylic acid will further react with the hydroxide so when the carboxylic acid react with hydroxide it will form salt so that's why the hydrolysis under alkaline condition it will form different products than the, the acidic condition. So generally, the hydrolysis can be represented by these two. Acid hydrolysis, so it will form the carboxylic acid and the alcohol like I told you just now and actually this is an equilibrium means these uh, products can form back the reactants and of course the reactants can form the products so it's an equilibrium if let's say hydrolysis under alkaline condition so as I told you just now the carboxylic acid that form means this one will further react with the hydroxide and form this salt the carboxylate salt and of course the alcohol will not react with the NaOH so means alcohol will remain but now it's formed the salt So therefore, these are the products of the acid hydrolysis and alkaline hydrolysis. So if you know this, then you can get the correct answer. So for part A, this one, sorry, this, uh, this A, aqueous alkaline complete conversion to salt and organic acid so wrong because aqueous alkaline hydrolysis it will form salt and uh, alcohol for B form an equilibrium mixture with salt and organic acid so this one confirms wrong it will not really form equilibrium because for the alkaline hydrolysis is one direction no equilibrium because the salt here will not form back the ester so now C complete conversion to a salt and alcohol yes or no yeah so if complete conversion means one direction fully convert to the salt and alcohol so this one is correct for the aqueous acid hydrolysis, uh, it will form an equilibrium mixture with organic acid and alcohol. For acid hydrolysis, it will form an equilibrium. It will form the acid and alcohol. 
So therefore, answer is very clear. Is C. So D cannot, even though this one is correct, but this one not correct because it's not a complete conversion. It will form equilibrium. Right. So answer confirmed is C. Okay, that's all. Thank you.